In this video, we are going to be looking at the IV curve for a diode. We have set our circuit up just like we did in the measuring IV curves experiment, um, but this time we've replaced the component with a diode. It's worth noting here that we've made sure the diode is connected in the correct position. A reminder that conventional current goes from positive to negative, so it's going this way around the circuit, and you must make sure that the arrow in the diode is facing the same way as the conventional current. So what does the graph look like? Well, it starts off going along the v-axis before making a sharp increase up, just like this. Now what's happened here is that at the beginning we've got very, very high resistance. In fact, to all intensive purposes, the diode is not on. Okay, it doesn't matter how much voltage you're giving it here, no current is getting through. However, at around 0.7 volts, the resistance of that diode dramatically decreases to almost zero. And so we get this huge sharp increase in current, okay? So all of a sudden, all of the electrons can get through nice and nice and easily um, because the resistance is almost zero. And that there is the IV curve for a diode.